All right, folks, how are we doing? So today we're talking about how long should we rest between sets for strength training? Now, this is one of those things I get asked by a bunch of athletes and it always sort of surprises me because it's one of those things that I think seems really simple, but it's easy to end up overthinking this. Um, so you go online, you look on Google or something like that, and there's loads of different answers. You put, you know, how long should I rest between sets? You're gonna see things like, oh, you know, three to five minutes. I see some powerlifters in the gym resting eight minutes, 10 minutes between heavy sets. Um, look, here's the thing, right? You can, I could give you a specific number. I could say, okay, the scientifically best amount of time to rest is three minutes and 13 seconds, okay? Are you going to go and rest that every time? Let's say you go, you do the heaviest set of deadlifts you've ever done, and three minutes and 13 seconds later, you're still out of breath, you're still sweating, you're still like breathing really heavy. Are you going to go and do your next set? Of course you ain't, because you're already still knackered. Um, similarly, let's say you do a set of, you know, nice, easy, quick sort of RPE 7 set of bench press. And then, you know, after a minute, your breathing's come back down, you're feeling pretty chill. You're almost ready to go again after a minute and a half. Um, are you going to rest, going to sort of rest and just sit around to what, three minutes, 13, just waiting around just because that's what some paper or some dude on the internet's told you to do? Of course you ain't, all right? So like, look, there are general guidelines, okay? You say between hard sets of strength exercises, you might say, you know, anything from two to five minutes or from three to five minutes of rest, all right? To allow for that nervous system to uh, to regenerate, everything just to get nice and fired up again. But here's the thing, right? A good rule of thumb for most exercises is listen to your own body, okay? Pay attention to your breathing. When your breathing's coming back down, that's a good sign. And when you psychologically feel ready to attack the next set with full intent and more like 100% effort, okay? So if you're going, okay, for your next set, you've done like two sets of squats, you've got your third set to do. If you're approaching the bar and you feel like, I'm just not so sure, I like you, you see, you're not 100% committed to that, step back, take another minute, okay? You want the limiting factor in every set you do for strength to be the actual, your muscular system, your joints, you know, all the different things that go into building strength. You don't want your limiting factor to be your head not been in the game or your breathing too heavy, okay? So the optimum rest time for strength training is the time it takes for your body to like calm itself back down, for your breathing to chill out a little bit and for you to feel ready to attack that next set. Um, that might be two minutes, that might be three minutes, for some of you, that might be five, six, seven, eight minutes, okay? Now, I will say one thing about that, okay? If you're a powerlifter and you're having to rest for eight minutes or 10 minutes between every set, even at lower, like, RPEs, even at lower intensities, just work on your conditioning, dude, for the love of God. Like, um, if it's taking you two hours to get through, like, a workout that is seven or eight sets, there's a, there's a really big argument to be made that your conditioning and your recovery times is is your limiting factor. So maybe just think about working on that a little bit. Um, you'll find you can get a lot more work in and you can get through it quicker and therefore you, you can generally get a bit stronger, okay? There's there's an upper limit to where like rest times are taking the mickey and you should just be aware of that. But um, beyond those exceptions, uh, stick to what I talked about, okay? Pay attention to yourself, pay attention to your breathing and when you feel ready psychologically to attack the next set, go for that, okay? Hope that helps. Uh, if this video is useful, if you could just leave your six, 10 seconds to uh, hit that little like button, it really does help the video get out to more people. Uh, if you want some more videos like this, uh, then feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'll be putting out content a couple of times a week. And uh, yeah, also down below, I'll have a link to my website where you can find more in-depth articles on topics, uh, as well as things like coaching links, uh, pre-written programs for strength training, bodybuilding, that kind of stuff. So feel free to check out if you're interested and I will catch you in the next video. See you there.